Howdy! Uh, I'm going to show you how to keep your arcane cloak up if you're playing Mjolnir and Indigon. Um, it's useful, it might not be necessary towards the end of your build's progression. Um, for me, my build's kind of weak right now, especially in the damage department for like rares, like essences and stuff, so I definitely need this up. Um, so the way it works, the TLDR is you put a less duration on your arcane cloak, and what that does is reduces the duration of it, and then um, hopefully by the time the four seconds from Indigon is up, then it's back up. So uh, if you don't know, if you're playing this build and you don't know, um, Indigon uh, percent increase spell damage at the bottom there for each 200 mana you spent in the last, spent recently, so the last four seconds, which means ideally this would be up, you'd be at full mana, you would cloak for as much of your mana as you can, and then four seconds would elapse, and then you'd press the cloak again, and then you'd have it always up perpetually like that. Um, we're not quite there yet, we're almost there, but there's a couple ways to get there. Um, so what's going to happen is you're going to pop the cloak, and then as soon as you pop the cloak, you're going to hit a Lavianga Spirit. It's going to, one, recover you mana, and two, keep it from um, spending spending your Lightning Warp and your Cyclone and other things. I don't think Cyclone matters, but the Lightning Warp spending too much mana. So watch. So without Laviangas, when I'm just doing it, when I'm just doing the right click, I'll pop it, and then see how much mana I'm spending on my Lightning Warp, and it never really goes down. Like it takes a while to come back up. I'll just hold right click and we'll see how long. So like my, I'm ready to cloak again, but I have no mana to cloak with. My cloak's off cooldown. And if I sit here, it's going to take a while to be able to come off. Because it's still costing. Uh, as I say, that's my arc. Oops. Yeah, I stopped there for a second. But it takes forever to come back up, right? Some people are okay with that. And they use the cloak as just a really extreme, like if they get something really scary in a map. For me, I need that damage to kill scary rares pretty consistently. So until the build gets better, I'm leaning on the cloak. So what I'm doing is this less duration and arcane cloak setup where um, if you look at the duration of this, so oh, sorry, this this one, there's two ways to get this to four seconds. So the, the, the buff duration is 1.72 seconds. After 1.72 seconds, the cooldown starts, which is 3.33 seconds. So I'll get the calculator out. Um, so 1.72. So after that 1.72 seconds, the cloak starts. So which means 5.5 seconds. You want this down to 4 seconds. Um, the ideal way to do it is to get the cooldown as low as possible and keep the duration as high as possible. Like the, Of that 4 seconds, um, as much of that as possible is the buff effect, not the cooldown. Um, but cooldown is kind of expensive to get. There's a few places like down here you can get it to annoy something. or There's a few different ways to get it. We're also grabbing this node here, which kind of sucks. Um, the 40% increased duration. Without this... Uh, I need refund points, sorry. Uh, without this node, it's at 1.23 seconds, so instead of 5.05, .05, it's... Oh, and then we have this node taken. Yeah, the cooldown recovery rate. Yep. Plus 3.33. So you're at 4.56 seconds, which means you only have 0.56 seconds of downtime. Um, I don't really notice it. It feels fine. I don't even use it all the time. For killing trash mobs, you shouldn't need the cloak up. Um, so as long as you have it up for rares... It is nice to be able to cycle it on a rare, so if, if, if a rare lives longer than 4 seconds, you're not just like, have no mana and you're kind of hosed. Um, so this is what I'm doing for it. So what you, what you can do instead is you're casting, and then... Oh, maybe I set up back on. Which is that I have? Recoup? Probably don't need that anymore. But you're going here, and then you cloak and immediately press your Laviangas. And by the time you're ready to cloak again, you off cooldown, cloak again. Like that. And if you're taking damage in a map with recoup and stuff or other sources of recovery, you usually have a little more recovery. And you're usually not wanting to hit it this hard. Um, like, usually you're not cloaking consistently unless there's like a relief. For me, it's essence mobs. I'm running a lot of essences. So they're a little bit scary. Um, See, so that's one setup that you can do. But this is just how to keep your cloak up more than it normally would be as long as you have flash charges. I'm going to flash charges for that. Um, and... The other setup that people are doing is this setup right here. So they won't have Laviangas. They're just okay with their mana being low. Um, that first setup I showed you where you pop your cloak and then you just your mana is just low for like 10, 15 seconds because, you know, their, their base build without any sort of cloak and in Indigon is fine. Like this this right here without any cloak is fine to kill everything. Mine's not that good yet. So there are people who have good builds like that. I've talked to them. Um, a couple guys on Ninja I messaged and they said that they were fine with this. So what they're doing is this... Uh, of course, they're creating elixir when you use a guard skill. So when they pop a cloak, they're just okay with their mana being low. And then for the duration of this course getting elixir, the any chaos damage does not kill you, does not pen this and kill you, basically. So that's what they're doing. Um, both valid ways. I just like the cloak way more because my build needs the damage. So I'm doing that. Um, also, 
One side note, if you're playing this build, I know Connor, uh, I'll link to Connor's most recent update, Connor Converse, uh, one mana left. He's like the mana god of this game. He knows like all the stuff and he's doing all the build guides and putting all the work on the mana side. Uh, that's who's build, build I'm following basically. Um, so he is using Lightning Conduit of the Heavens right here. Um, I like Arc better. I think Arc's better damage. The clear on both is about comparable. I'd say about even. I'm using Arc. So if you're having trouble with Lightning Conduit of the Heavens, try Arc out because it's really good for, for, bot, for map bosses or for... Um, rares or essences or whatever definitely recommend trying arc out um because it's been uh, a lot better for me so thanks message and if you have any uh, questions just leave them in the comments i'll respond to them thanks bye